Well, f If you saw the title, this is my hand plane of dubious ideas. So anything that I thought was a potentially bad idea, I just threw it all in one hand plane. It's working out to be oh, seven inches long, about an inch and three quarters wide, an inch and three eighths tall. It's got a, a one and a half inch hawk iron in it that's made for the Krenov style planes. 30 degree bed angle. This front angle here is set to 120. And then it's got uh, this, this part in here is like 110. And then this part here would be like, what, 40 degrees or something like that. So, and this turned out, it turned out okay. It's usable. There's some stuff that needs to be fixed. There's some other things that I think can be done better on a different version. So first up, Leopardwood body. It looks cool. It's a pain in the ass to work. So I don't think I'll ever be using this again, at least in this purpose. Uh, it splinters like crazy. And those, uh, those splinters are painful. They just stick you out of nowhere. Also, it doesn't work well with hand tools. It's, it's hard stuff and the grains interlock. So it tears out like crazy. Just a lot of sanding to be done to get it to smooth out and then on top of all of that uh, even with you know sharp tools it, chiseling out the inside is is difficult and uh, it, it wants to break and uh, kind of split it doesn't doesn't you know uh, pair real easily so that it, it's a challenge all around and you know getting crisp lines it blew out here you can see here it it chipped out something fierce even trying to take a light cut bottom side's pretty good but right there man and it just stuck me again i got a splinter just and this has been smooth and sanded to like 600 jesus christ so another dubious idea was using my mill which really isn't a mill it's a lathe that i can attach a, a milling arm to it, it worked it worked out pretty well at least for the bed i didn't like using it so much up here on this one because really this this side I ended up having to side mill and it it, it was hard to get a nice clean uh, cut all the way across and I ended up coming back in later with floats and a chisel uh, to, to square all of this back up because it didn't didn't quite get it so at any rate uh, so this is set at 30 degrees a bad angle at 30 I th I don't think I'll use this again going forward uh, 35 I think would be better and I have another miter plane that was with 35 the Hawk iron it's not working in this configuration um, as well as I would like it to I mean this is an iron designed for wooden hand planes uh, the the main difference though is that I'm not using it with the chip breaker and this is this angle is significantly lower than what you would typically find on the Hawk on the Krenov style plane so I don't I don't know. It's, it's just working itself out a little bit. And I don't know. I, I'm kind of wondering if it's not because of the extremely low angle here and it's just easier to force it out. Tapered blade, I think, would be um, would would really go a long way to help preventing that. But um, I'm not quite ready to give up on this iron. It's a really good iron. Um, it's just not quite working in this configuration. So I think there's some more testing to do there. 
I wasn't sure what this should have been. And I couldn't get my hands on another miter plane that had a front closer. So I wasn't able to, you know, I'm just, so I'm basically working off pictures. Um, and I wasn't able to find any existing blueprints or plans. So I wasn't sure what the dimensions for this front closer should be. The other thing that I'm noticing in the short term here is that when I go to adjust my blade, occasionally this thing starts popping back out. And I wonder if, if this wasn't more vertical, if, if it would be harder for this to get loose as I'm you know, retracting my blade. Overall, the size, I like the size. I think that was good. You know, these little details, I really like this kind of, it looks like that was cut in with a, where are we at? There we are. Like this little detail here, that was, looks like it was cut in with a file. And that's what I did on this. And I really, I really liked, I really liked that detail. Um, one thing I wanted to try here is you look at the original, um, of this one, the back is rounded over but it's straight this way. And the one thing that I tried was I rounded it over, but then I put a little bit of an arch in it. And um, I, don't, yeah, I don't quite like the way that arch looks, so I think I'm probably just stick with a, uh, just a straight round over on version two. But kind of one of the problems with this one is when you go to grab it, your, your hand kind of is getting caught under that blade and it's a little uncomfortable. But with this one, since the blade is real short, it's a three and a half inch blade, um, it just fits in the hand more, your hand moves around it. So I think this is all on the right track. Oh, uh, so yeah, so leopard wood, this, and then the, the wedge and the mouth closer are both birch. Um, so anyway, I thought about, I figured the next hand plane would probably be made out, out of birch. So I would try a birch mouth closer just to see how well it fares. Because if you're using the same woods for your body and the closer, then you, you're you minimizing the risk of a mismatch in expansion and contraction. And, you know, birch works, it's working fine. It's fine, I don't, I think though, I would probably, if I'm gonna do another mouth closer, I would go with a harder wood. Um, I think it's just, you know, if you're gonna take the time to make one, Go with a harder wood and then just be real careful about, uh, you know, matching, um, you know, trying to pick stuff that's similar um, in expansion and contraction. I think that's probably the better way to go about it. Oh, stamping. I totally messed up. I went to stamp this and I forgot, I, I forgot to do it early in the process and I got to the end and realized it. So yeah, I put a crack right through it. And it cracked all, all the way through to here, all the way through to that mouth closer. But it glued up. It looks like it glued up okay. You can't really tell from the bottom. And the top, you can't really tell either. It's just a little bit right here in the front. So I glued it. It's, you know, this is a prototype. I won't be using this a ton. Uh, plus, you know, the Krenov planes are laminated together and hold with glue. So I'm not too worried about that crack, but... Uh, yeah, I definitely, definitely should have stamped it way, way earlier in the process. Any rate, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you on the next one.